Hey, what's up, YouTube? Silky back, bringing you another episode in our super fun Summoner's War beginner's walkthrough. Uh, and you can see where we had left off our base. I did open up a few uh, scrolls just to see what we would end up getting. We ended up getting a harpy and water elven archer. Taoist, Serpent, Epicon Priest, Earth, and a Living Armor, Earth, to go with our werewolf. So we've got some decisions to make because those are some pretty good monsters. Uh, let's see what we've got in our sale section here. I don't see anything in there. All right. So we'll skip that then. Let's see, we don't have anything else to summon at the moment. So let's send our, uh, oh, that's right, I already did that. It resets, <laughs> it resets soon, though. So, okay, let's see what we've got. We've got some quests. Yeah, we got a whole set, man. Whole set, lady. Thanks. Thanks for uh, cheering us on here. Okay, so let me show you what I did do over this past week. I did grind out a little bit of the runes here. You can see we got full set there. Full set with Fatal and Energy. Fatal and Energy. I put Fatal Energy on most. With the exception of this guy who's all about hit points, so obviously. And uh, right there. And then we've... We've got to we've got to figure out what we want to do with all these monsters, man. All these monsters, all the greatness. What are we gonna do with them? Ah, uh, so let's let's start right off. Let's see if we can do. Oh, nobody cares about that. <laughs> let's see if we can do B three. Oh, uh, let's see one, two, three, four, and. No, we don't have any runes on them, though. We have no runes, so let's... What is Werewolf's Leader ability? Oh, in Guild Battles. So he's actually going to be pretty pretty solid in Guild Battles. I don't think we're going to be able to beat B3. I really don't. We don't have any secret dungeons. We do have Hall of Fire unlocked for 52 minutes. Oh, we need to rune up our monsters here. So let's jump over to hell mo or hard mode rather. We'll do some of this. We'll we'll try to unlock some of the hard mode here. Let's see who do we want. I, I definitely. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, we need them. We we need copper. I got copper actually over on my main account, and I absolutely love copper. Hits so hard, it's nice. And he's got that nice defense drop. Alright, so let's auto this. We'll just we'll go through this and get some runes for, for crop copper until we can get to the uh, defense runes. Because he is all about the defense. All about that defense. There we go. And spot three. So that is the biggest key to this game. Like, runes, man. It is all about runes. You need runes on these monsters. It doesn't matter what they are. If you don't have good runes, you are done. You are just done. Oh, an HP 4%. Absolutely, I will get that one. All right, let's go kill some trees now. Go chop down some trees. Man, there's a lot of good characters that I would love to get. I still haven't gotten a Nat 5. Still no Nat 5. Like, come on, man. I want a Nat 5. I would really, really love a Nat 5, but my Mystic Scroll luck has been 
Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. No luck. No luck whatsoever. Whatsoever, nothing. They don't give me any of the luck. Really want Lucian. Lucian is like... That's the one I'm really hoping for is Lucian. I'm really hoping that we can get that. Yeah, lava blow. Trying to get our AoE team in here. Victory! Look at that experience, baby. Look at that experience. Ooh, a good defense rune right there. So let's throw a few on uh, copper here. Let's see. HP versus speed. Yeah, absolutely. Not that these ones really don't matter that much. Like, we will be past these runes quickly. But these at least give us set bonuses, you know, boost to the hit points. Can't go wrong with some nice HP love. So that's what we've got to do. Our goal for today is going to be clearing this forest. Boom. Oh, I love the Magic Knight. Magic Knight was my first five-star monster on my main account. I love the Magic Knight. I do wish, like, when you start the game, that it would randomly give you monsters. Like, legitimately random monsters. Even if they limit, you couldn't get five stars. You couldn't get four or five star, not four or fives. You could not get those. But it was still random what you could get. I think that would be cool. That would make the game just a little bit better. Then again, it's it's easy to reset. So you could easily just keep soft resetting until you get what you want. So actually, I, I guess that, that makes sense. That makes sense. It would still be nice, though. Just so that not everyone had the same team. Don't forget, guys, if you see in this, man, make sure you guys send me the friend request. I will accept all of them. Come on, team. Level three copper. I can't believe we pulled copper, man. Copper is going to be so helpful, especially in PvP. In the arena, copper is nice. Just need to get him some more defense love. More defense love. Copper will be OP. I should probably be working on uh, the Vagabond. Because I'm going to be getting the good hit point runes here. And I know... Well, so does... Uh... Oh, look at that. Four star. Not terrible at all. Not terrible at all. Hungbeak. What do you got? Light and dark have counteracted each other since the dawn of time. Bum bum bum. I don't think we're going to be able to move into hell mode from here, though. Hey, somebody just found the fire, Garuda. There you go. Rats to them. GZ. Come on. Take these little turds out. And three of three. Crushed. Look at that continuous damage. I love it. I love it. Make them kill themselves. Hand of defense drop. Oh man, that poor little mushroom just got roasted. And another decent rune. 
Right, so let's throw a few more on uh, copper here. Engrave. Engrave. And, yeah, engrave. So we only need one more to get the third set. But we are on the boss. Let's see if we can take out the boss. This should be interesting. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat the boss. I think we should. We should be able to. And uh, let's see what happens. If we can take this thing out pretty easily, this is where I'm going to be farming. Good job, AI. Use the AoE on one monster. Brilliant. Just brilliant. You've been thunderstruck. There we go. Big bad wolf. Big bad wolf. Do we take it out? Moment of truth time. Because this thing can be pretty tough. Especially if it goes after copper and KOs copper. Oh, it looks like we got... I think we got him. Yeah, we should... No issues. No issues whatsoever. We destroyed that wolf. Now what do we get? Ooh, two level ups. Eh, not, not terrible, I suppose. Alright, so we got some challenges completed. What do we do? Ooh, green forest peace. Done. Alright. So, if you guys didn't know right now, as at, at the time of recording this, uh, early June, there is an event going on. Uh, 1,000 Crystals Party event, which is absolutely insane. You guys should definitely check this out if you haven't. But right here you can see each day has different missions that you can complete to where you get free crystals. Which is absolutely nice. Everyone wants free crystals. Clear the scenario. Oh, oh, nobody cares about that. And we're at day two of three check-in. But definitely check this out, because they're giving away... You get up to a 1,000 free crystals if you complete everything. If you complete everything. And how long is it? Oh, it's going on for another 18... Or 19 days, pretty much. 19 days, man. And you can get all these free crystals. And you can exchange them for uh, scrolls. You can either get legendary summoning pieces or light and dark summoning pieces. Which is really nice. Can't go wrong there. All right, so what do we want to do now? What does she have for us? Oh, yeah, it's two-time mana stones right now. We do have the daily missions. So let's see. We did that one. What do we have left for daily missions then? Oh, I definitely meant to go to challenges and not do that again. Uh, rune maintenance, show off your friendship, head to head, giant killer, gathering magical powers, and conquer a fire. All right. So, let's go into the Hall of Fire. We'll get that one complete right quick. And that is probably where we're going to end the episode, if I had to guess. Uh, I will probably be farming the Hall of Giants this week. Uh, see if we can't get some better uh, runes for our monsters. So that's what I'm going to be doing this week. We'll be going through uh, Hall of Giants. Although, man, maybe unlocking or... Yeah, let's see what we need to get... It's definitely going to be Hall of Giants, but I might do some Hall of Fire here. Depending on what it takes for our Lava Golem to awaken. We'll see what it takes for that. 
Cause he done. That was easy. 28 seconds. Personal best. So let's check that out actually. Let's check out what it would take. Mid and low, but that's a lot of the mids that we would need. I honestly don't think we would be able to unlock them. So we are going to skip that for now. So yeah, it'll be a lot of Hall of Giants that we're going to go through this week. Hey, we got an achievement over here too. Boom. So that's what I'm going to do for the week. I'm going to farm Hall of Giants, try to get some better runes, try to beef up these monsters, level up some of the lower leveled ones, especially Copper. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like and comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!